What's good, y'all? It's Cole Krugel here today with a couple of mixed tips and tricks. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to find the tempo of your track inside Pro Tools. This should be the very first thing you do once you open up Pro Tools and import the beat. So, why is finding the tempo so important? Well, it's going to make the editing process much, much easier for you. It's what's going to allow you to fly hooks and repeating sections of the song over to automatically be in time. It'll also allow you to create stutters, chops, and drops that are all musically in time, as well as how your delay plug is synced to the tempo of the track. So there's a couple of different ways to find the tempo of your track in Pro Tools. The one I'm going to be advocating for today is the Identify Beat function, which is the most accurate and quickest way to find the tempo in Pro Tools. Another method is tapping the tempo. I would not recommend this. This takes the average of the last eight taps. So unless your rhythm is perfect, uh, it's not going to be accurate. Even if you have good rhythm, you might be a BPM off. And also, it only finds the tempo to whole numbers. Sometimes producers make beats uh, with tempos that have decimal points, whether it's, you know, 85.5 or, you know, maybe 85.125. I've seen things like that before. So tapping the tempo is not going to be accurate. Also, the producer might list the BPM on the beat. Sometimes they're wrong. They might have put a typo in there. So even if they list the tempo on the beat, I'm still going to manually find the tempo myself. So without further ado, y'all, let's get into how to find the tempo of your track using Identify Beat. Step one, make sure the tab the transient function is enabled in blue as my mouse is circling right here. Also, pull up the transport panel using Command 1 and make sure this conductor guy is blue and enabled as well. Step two. Find the first recognizable downbeat transient, which is usually the first kicker 808 in the beat. So let's play the beat real quick. Alright, so this beat actually has kicks come in before the first downbeat. They're kind of kick stutters leading it in. Disregard those. We know where the downbeat is if you listen. All right, so the first downbeat is right there. So what I'm going to do is click right before that somewhere. And because I've tabbed the transient enabled, I can press tab on my keyboard until it lands directly on that first transient. Step three, I'm going to make a cut directly on that transient using command E. Step four, from that cut, I'm going to count out four bars in my head while listening to the beat. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, one. Okay, so right here, I would click right before that first downbeat transient of the fifth bar. I would use tab the transient to tab to it, and I'm going to make a cut on that with command D. So now I have a four bar selection. So step five, I'm going to click on that four bar selection and press command I. That is going to pull up this window right here. I'm going to make sure the location start is 1 and the location end is 5. That's going to be 4 bars that it's going to identify right there to find the tempo. And then I'll press OK. And as you see, I have a numerical value that appeared at the start point. Uh, it says 150.0137. That decimal is so close to the actual whole number that I'm just assume it's 150. And I know for a fact it's 150 because I made this beat. Um, sometimes you might get, you know, 149.999. You know it is 150. The only time you wouldn't round is if, you know, you're getting a, a decimal point. That's, you know, like 0.4 or something like that or 0.5. So step six, you're going to pull up the transport panel again. And you're going to unselect the conductor guy. And now enter in your exact tempo of 150. And as you can see, when I zoom in, I see all these drum hits are exactly on the grid. That's how you check to make sure your tempo is right. Now in my next video, I'm going to show you how re-entering the tempo in manual tempo through the transport panel, as we did today, will allow you to slow down or speed up the tempo of an entire Pro Tools session.